I got a question. When a motherfucker owe you money, what are the rules that you're supposed to follow? What are the rules? I'm in this situation right now. Now, only person I've ever owed money to was my wife. She was my girl at the time, you know what I'm saying? But she hold me down, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to pay you back, whatever, whatever. My father, I want to say yeah and no, because a lot of the things he do, is he do it out of the goodness of his heart. Or he used to do it out of the goodness of his heart, you know what I'm saying? When I was younger, I ain't have it like that. My father used to look out. But as far as me owing people money, I have never owed anybody money. So I'm not familiar with the rules that folks are supposed to follow. I'm going to explain it to you, right? One of my mans owe me bread. Now, it's not that I need the money. For me, it's more with the principle. It ain't nothing but a little hundred dollars. It's just the principle of the whole situation. You told me that you was going to give me the money at a certain time. Right? So, we spoke. We spoke. We spoke last week. Said he's going to call me yesterday. Yesterday was Monday. Yesterday passed. Before we spoke and he said he's going to call me yesterday, he was supposed to cash at me the bread. The week before. This is a new week, the week before past. Prior to that, he said he was going to give me the money on a Monday, which was three days after he borrowed the bread from me. Now, this is going on for about a month now. Now, what are the rules? I feel some type of way. It's not, like I said, it's not that I need the money. It's the, the principle of the whole situation. You said you was going to give me the bread at a certain amount of time. The time has passed. The deadline has passed. Now, I've known, this is my man's. I've known him for years. I hate to, to feel some type of way. Like, I want to willingly, if he ever was to ask for bread again, I want to willingly give it to you without hesitation. But the fact that you have not paid in the time that you said you was gonna pay I feel like disrespected it, I, I'm gonna tell you why I feel disrespected you ever had somebody owe you money and then like you see them post stuff on the internet and like they happy and it's like they not thinking about that money that they owe you my boy on Instagram he happy where's the money Am I, like, am I breaking the rules? Am I breaking the rules? Like, for me, I'm not, we're not finna get in an argument over that hundred dollars because I'm not finna call you and argue with you over no money. And, like, I don't like arguing with people over money because I see how people, like, how shit just go crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not one of them type of people, bro. I'm not. Especially for no hundred dollars. I feel as though if it was something bigger than that then yeah but a hundred dollars no but at the same time it's a level of respect like this is how I feel okay if you're going to borrow money from somebody make it clear that you don't know when you can pay it back don't say oh yeah I'm going to pay it back on Monday or I'm going to pay it back on Tuesday or I'm going to cash app you because I get paid on Friday don't say that if you know that's not true, don't say that. Just be like, yo, bro. Better yet, don't even borrow the money. Bro, can I have $100? Like, times is hard right now. Can I have $100? Like, I really need it. Have and borrow is two different things. Have meaning that don't expect that money back. It's gone. It will disappear. As soon as you give it to me, it's going to disappear. That's what have means. Borrowed means that you're going to get it back. You're going to get it back. That's what borrowed means. Do not ask people for money and say you want to borrow. Don't borrow money if you can't pay it back, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I, I just... Again, I'm not... I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I just don't know the rules, bro. This is the first time I've ever lent anybody money and they have not given it back in the time that they said they was going to give it back. This is the first... This is the first, first time, bro. First, first time. Anytime somebody asks for bread, I will... If I have it, you're going to get it. Like, there's no... Oh, nah. Like, if I have it in my account, bro, you're going to get it, bro. That, that's the type of person I am. Because I, you never know when you're going to need somebody to fall back on. Thank God I haven't needed any of my friends to fall back on, like, financially. But at the same time, like, sometimes I might need somebody to babysit my son. And folks be looking out for me. And I feel as though that's because I've looked out for them. Now, at the same time. At the same time. trust I feel as though my trust has been has been taken advantage of my trust has been taken advantage of bro. And I'm, I'm not mad I'm not upset I'm not upset at all I just don't know the rules I just don't know the rules like I know I got family members who have falling out over money like I don't understand I could not you know what let me say that before I never understood how like friends could fall out over money but right now I get it you know what I'm saying I get how people could have beef over money I'm not beefing I don't I don't care I don't, I'm not going to beef up with no bread. You feel me? Like, I'm, I'm one of those people, bro, I hate borrowing money from people. I hate borrowing money from people, bro. Like, anything, don't lend me nothing, don't, none of that, bro. Like, that's like, when I was younger and I, and I used to hustle, I used to sell my little, you know what I'm saying? My little nicks and dimes and stuff like that. And folks would be like, yo, I'll front you, I'll front you the pack, I'll front you the pack. Don't front me shit. Because that means I'm going to owe you. And now I got to be under pressure to pay you back. No. We're not doing that. I'm going to get the pack when I can buy the pack. Don't front me a goddamn thing. And that, that's my model in life. Don't front me nothing. Now, it has come to, to, to situations where... I didn't have certain funds that I needed for certain things, and my shorty had to look out for me, but she always get that money back, bro. Always. It's been a it's been a long time since she had to look out for me, thank Jesus. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. But she always get that bread back. There's no skimming off of the top. There's no, yo, like, come on, yo, like, you wifey, like, you shouldn't even be asking. There's none of that. It's a level of respect. Plus, she one of those, like, she gonna make sure you know she she need her money. Like, you know, she know when I get paid, so she be like, so, um, you get paid this Friday, right? All right, well, yeah, since you get paid this Friday, I'm gonna I'm a go ahead and mark down that, that $300 that you owe me. She, she let it be known, bro. Now, I don't like... For me... I never like hearing that. Like, I never like hearing that I owe my woman money. So, I do my best not to be in that type of situation. You feel me? So, I started saving up. Started trading Forex. Started putting money to the side. So, just so... I don't never have to be in a predicament where my wife had to dig me out a hole, bro. That's how I feel about that. And that's my wife. Now, let alone a friend, bro. I, you know, that's what friends are there for. Friends are there to look out for you. But at the same time, I don't feel comfortable having any of my friends lend me money. It's, it's just not, that's just not where I am. It's just, my level of comfort don't, don't go that far. Right, big guy? I'm cut asleep. Little homie sleep. 
My level of comfort don't go that far. I'm sorry. Please, make, can somebody exp- explain to me the rules? Because I don't know it. I don't know. 